Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Lens of the Twilight Princess. Kevin J2010 here. In the last episode, we were here in the Snow Peak ruins, and I am getting frozen by snow people. They're not freezers, but they're very similar to them. We'll see what an actual freezer looks like in a bit. In fact, you may have seen one because we actually walked past one in the last room. In the last episode, why am I keep getting frozen? Die! Oh, I'm not gonna kill him. Whatever. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to get all the way over here and then realize that you forgot to pick up a stone when you had the chance. So I will go grab one of those. Uh, touching any of the ice will freeze you, much like the freezers do when they touch you. It's very annoying. It's an interesting room because they made a whole room out of ice, but I never necessarily liked it. Ow! Uh, okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. Leave me alone. Um, if you were to throw these rocks at them, they would die in one hit, but obviously it's very hard to hit them with these. Um, let's get some bombs. We're gonna need bombs. Bombs? Sorry. I had to, I had to say it. You wanna insert that into there. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna turn this by grabbing and pushing. Um, it locks to every 90 degree angle, or the cardinal directions, you may want to say. You want to sort of bomb. This bomb will explode, and we'll shoot the rock through all the ice. Pretty interesting, uh, level design. Actually, I, I like it. It's a little bit different from other ice dungeons you see in games, even though they still have the obligatory ice block slidey puzzle thing that's like in every video game ever. Uh... Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm dead. That was kind of cool, though, because Link died while he was, like, all frozen. Anyway. I guess the smarter thing to do would be this. When Not that. This. You can snipe them. And they'll fall. I don't really like this room, actually. It's kind of confusing. Um, now you actually don't want to keep walking there because you'll just slide and fall into the abyss. You actually want to make a very risky jump there and another risky jump here. Risky jump here, risky jump there, risky jump everywhere. I don't know. Another red rupee. Not bad. I don't know why I'm getting... I, I seem to be talking really quiet recently. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, okay, you want to get over here and this should be the small key. Or the compass, actually. That would make more sense. Yeah, that's the compass. Okay. I, I knew there was something there, and I was like, why would I go this way if there was nothing there? Um, there's something in this room. Ah, why do I come in this room again? There's a reason why I came in. No, wait, this room has a dead end. I gotta get into that room somehow. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. I knew there was a treasure chest on the ground there. I guess now that I have the compass, it'll save me a little bit of time finding things. Because you'll notice on our map, there's another thing marked off. These little red dots. Those red dots are actually little stones that we will use in cannons and stuff. So, that explains that. Um, you're going to want to become a wolf again. Because, yeah, I knew it was right here. I don't know why I didn't find it. Dig on the dark spot. Ow! Leave me alone, you white wolf hoes. They actually run away from that, which is annoying. Anyway, we're gonna wanna open this. Open! Open! Link! Get out of here. Oh, you want me to dig again, don't you? No, no, no. Just let me open. It's not letting me open! Oh, oh, oh. There we go. You have to be pointing next to it. Get it? It makes sense, ah? Huh? No, I'm kidding. There's a freezer right there in the background, by the way. That's a freezer. And for those of you who've played uh, Ocarina of Time, you're probably like, WTF? That doesn't look anything like the freezers from that game. And no. No, they do not. Um, so what you're going to want to do... This is an interesting little mechanic they put in. Um, don't climb that ladder. That ladder, because you can't. Just don't even bother trying. Interesting little mechanic to make you move stones from room to room. Sort of tedious, but it is interesting. I like it. You're going to want to do that so you can pull this down over here and get attacked by every... Wow, I just mortal drawed them. That was so bamf. Anyway. 
Gah. And a blue rupee. A blue rupee! Sorry, I had to freak out about it, because apparently the game wants me to. Um, yeah, see, as you can see, Link can't really walk in deep snow very well. Um, you're just going to want to point this in the different directions. First, we're going to go forward, I guess. Because there is something behind there. Nothing important, but there is something back here that's probably worth getting. And why am I contradicting myself? That is worth getting. I said probably isn't worth getting, but we should get it because it's probably worth getting. Wow, why am I... Why do I do that? I don't know. I guess it's just one of my little problems. I don't think when I talk. I don't talk think when talk. I don't know. I thought that'd be funny, and sorry, I just hit my mic there. As I was scratching my nose. Okay, we're gonna push it over twice. Because we're gonna want to take out that freezer. Um, you actually cannot beat freezers any other way other than hitting them with these. Oh, I feel so bad. I kind of, like, killed him. I mutilated him. And I hopefully, hopefully this is the room I think it is, because this would make this dungeon a lot more... Oh, God, I got frozen. Anyway, don't really care. Um, I have, like, no health. I probably should have picked up some of the drink and maxed out my health, but whatever. Anyway, you'll see in here there's some there's a statue and another statue and the door locked in front of us. And we're hearing somebody walking. Whoa, Jesus, what is what is that? Yes, this is the dungeon mini boss actually. Now he's got a huge like wrecking ball thing. Um, real quick, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna... You're gonna wanna have your claw shot ready. You're gonna wait until just about the last second. And you're just gonna get behind him like this. Wait until he throws it. Once he throws it, you get behind him. Just keeps trying to slash his tail. Eventually he'll start spinning again and he'll whack you, doing a whole heart of damage, which is actually a lot. Getting closer, getting closer. Ooh He's gonna throw it soon. There we go. There we go. That wasn't too bad. He's actually he's caused a lot more problems for me. He can be pretty hard, but it's not impossible to do in one try. Even without taking a hit, that's pretty it's pretty it, it, it's doable. It's a doable boss, that's what I'm trying to say. And his item didn't disappear. That's that's kind of weird. His item didn't. Dis his item's still here. Like, what's up with that? Well, seeing that his item is still here, I guess we should just take it. Yes, this is the item of the dungeon, the ball and chain, which is really cool. I actually really like this weapon. It's probably one of my favorite weapons in this in this game, actually, just because it's so different from what you see in most Zelda games. Basically, very simply enough, it's basically what those cannons do, just. Like that, you hold the B button, you'll start spinning it, you can aim it like this, just like any other um, throwable weapon, like bows and stuff. And in here should be the room key, Ordon Goat Cheese. Oh, food again? Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. She didn't seem very sure about herself. Oh well, let's head back and hope she had some other brilliant idea. Yeah, but at least we got the dungeon item by going this way. <laughs> it makes me wonder, maybe she's doing it on purpose or something. I don't know, I'm being silly. Um, yeah, we're actually under the bedroom, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we're going to want to return. But one thing we're going to want to do while we're on our way out is just you're going to want to break these. Because now you can access the hub a little bit better. Get away! And if you want to defend yourself from these white wolfos, you can just sort of stand here like this. They can't get you. See, they can't get you because you're spinning your thing. Spinning, 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 death. Oh, don't throw it though because they're too fast. They're too fast. I don't know, I'm being stupid. Um, see, he's dead. Good job. Good job, me. Um, you can hit things as you've seen just by spinning it. Like, spinning it alone is enough to make it hurt people. Like, you don't have to throw it. But obviously throwing it does more damage than just sitting there. Um, what do you want to say now? 
What happened, uh? What? Cheese? Uh, did husband move it? Uh, where in the world did he put it? Did we put it? Sorry, I need thinking time. Uh, take cheese to husband, uh? You do that. I try to remember. Okay, so we're gonna want to take the ord on goat cheese over to him. I hope he's not as aggressive as he was last time, because I mean it was kind of it was kind of painful with how aggressive he was. Please be a little bit nicer. Ah, needs more punch. Ah, uh, uh, what good smell? What you have? Ow! I was hoping you wouldn't be so aggressive. Hmm, perfect ingredient. Ah, uh. puts in the cheese. Little more time on fire, it become gourmet soup. Ah, uh. here, taste. Um, yes, it becomes the. What does it become now? It becomes the superb soup, which heals eight hearts now. Which is why I'm actually deciding to pick it up now, because I can just max out my hearts. Or just get very close to it. I'll pick up one more little scoop of it just so I can have some. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yep. You know, just playing this part really makes me hungry for soup. And probably right after this recording, I'm probably going to make myself some ravioli. Chef Boy RD, Proudly sponsoring Kevin J. 2010. I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I remember. Uh, we put the key in nearby room, so no so no forgetting. How I forget? Embarrassing, huh? See here, place marked by symbol, huh? So it's on the second floor now, and it's over here in that room. Okay. It there. It must be, huh? You look for me. You look for me. Okay. You know, speaking of, like, getting, like, promotions and stuff and getting paid by, like, sponsors and stuff, that would be pretty cool. Although people would be like, oh, you're... People would probably call me out being like, oh, you're a, you're a sub, you know. You're a person who likes sleeping with other, subs with other people to get subscribers or something, basically, because... I've heard that a lot, trust me. Um, like, not to me specifically, but I mean the idea of it, I've heard a lot. Um, let's just put the arrows there. Yeah. Anyway, let's just get that over here. You're actually gonna want a stone in this next room. It's not overly important. I just suggest you pick it up. Mainly because we can... I think we can get our first hard piece really soon. I think. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. We do that. Go through here. Yeah, I love doing the dungeons in this game. What is that noise? I'm very confused as to what that noise is. Oh, it's the freezer shooting ice. That's what it could be. Oh, yeah, that won't break it. That will, though. Okay, so there's the freezer shooting his ice breath. It's kind of freaky, actually. I don't like his face. I admit, like, I like how they went for, like, a darker... Look, it's actually a two-hit kill when you use the ball and chain. These guys are all one-hit kills now. Pretty useful. Um, yeah, you want to take this ball. This ball? Well, balls to you! I, you know, I don't know why I haven't thought of that in a while. It's like I've completely forgotten about that. Um, he's going to be shooting his ice breath, which is not nice. Stop it! Get away! There you go. There's going to be a hole in here I can hit him through. There we go. No, it's rolling away. It's rolling away. I don't care about the little, like, freeze things that are left over. They're, they're trapped in there anyway. So here we are up on the second floor. We're going to want to... Gah. Oh, I didn't achieve anything, did it? Gah. There we go. Oh, what the... Please don't tell me it's in, like, some place I can't get to now. Get... What the... What is going on? Where did that stone go? Where is the stone? Uh, if I lost the stone, I'll be very angry. It says it's right here. Good. Completely forgot I had a map. Um, how the heck did it? Well, I guess it like flew across the thing or something. Anyway, um, is there anything we can do in this room yet? Um, I don't think we can do it just yet. Oh wait, in here I think. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, we can. You can break the ground here. Drop down, and you will get a piece of heart. Yes, finally number 31, I believe. Yeah, number 31. That's pretty cool. And you're going to need your claw shot. Yeah, if you don't have the claw shot by this point in the game, like, I don't know. It, like, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I read those, um, 
game FAQ things and they say like, oh, you need the claw shot to get it. I'm like, yeah, but you wouldn't be at this point in the game without the claw shot. Don't bother pointing out that I need it. I said grab push. There we go. I'm just going to set this here for now. We can't do it just yet, but I'm just going to set it like this for now. Where did that, where did I put the stone? It's probably right here in the open because I'm an idiot and I just forget where I put things. And I'm going to leave that over there and I'll come back for it later. Uh, but I think it is time to end this episode though. So next time on Legends of the Twilight Princess, we're going to be attacked by this guy. And oh God, I'll see you guys next time.